Hello and welcome to a new tutorial about NLS a uh, nice lobby system in this one we will be talking about adding a new character to the system so let's jump right into it so we will see when we start the project we will see just an empty map which is basically the main menu and uh, in the content browser I already added this guy just added to the project there it is so how does it work it's actually relatively simple so if I go to my NLS and I open my blueprints go to the characters and you will see character classes let's say for example I want to replace these meshes you know I'm fine with four characters but I want to replace these meshes so it's just a matter of if we double click and let's just open the blueprint I can select the mesh which is at this point it's the SK mannequin and I can go back to my folder try to find was it in model yeah there we go let's say I want this guy so I can just replace him here this is obviously wrong so let's open and see what do we have here we have that Let's add it, compile and save. Now, if we play, it uh, it will not do anything. It will not run or anything like that. I can actually show you. So if we play, so he's there, but he's in a T pose. And if we jump in, he's not animating, as you can see. That's because the animation blueprint is not matching so we need to change that to the one that we imported so let's look inside animations this and let's add it as well here we go now if we play there we go it's that basic here we go is already doing the the whole thing okay now what if I want to add more than four characters let's exit let's go back to my characters so now we have four of these but let's say that I want to have five so let's save quickly let's say for example I want to have more of these so let's duplicate and say my my character same thing as before bring this in let's see if there is anything else we can use let's say this guy so the mesh will be this the first one should be that compile and save if we go to default since I just duplicated so the parent class is uh, character base if we go to default we will see here that we have character details and that's what we need to change at the moment it says purple character but that's not what we are looking for we want to add a new one we can do that by going to our NLS we go to data tables and then DT um, DT characters or character classes add a new row let's call it my character so this is the name of the row we don't need to worry about that too much at the moment it, uh, it needs to be like no spaces or anything like that it needs to be just you know like name um, just one word but this is the character name that I need to change so let's say new character just so it's different from my character there uh, while we add it the character class that I want to add that's my character or my car 
I want to give it a new story, so this is the new character. We will come back to thumbnail, let's just you know use it like this for now. So new character, copy it, let's go back to my car, and instead of purple character, let's change that to new character. Now, if we play, we should see five characters, including my new character. And as you can see, five of them here. If I scroll, it says new character and this guy. Oh, again, he's in T-Pose. Once again, actually, I can just go here and do... Okay, let's do this. And then go here. Mesh. And let's add that. This will take care of the animation. Also, what I could do is for my new character, I can add stats. Let's say that he has health of 500. Max health is 500. And then the power, he is 250. Uh, max power 250. And then experience points, probably he will start with zero and then he will he will um, get more but the maximum experience he can get is 1000 I don't know why armor I'll give him 600 stamina 150 strength let's say 400 you can obviously add skills and so on but let's not go too crazy and for the character thumbnail I will do a very basic thing here uh, let's just quickly hide this oh visible here just something you know just so we have something in there and maybe open with paint very very basic resize pixels okay that's a lot so let's make him maybe 512 by 512 nope 512 okay save as JPEG PNG doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. So we need to go to my projects, NLS game. I'll add a new folder. I'll call it assets, and I'll call it my car thumbnail. There we go. Yep, fine. Let's go to let's go to my browser here. Find assets. Here we go. Now we have a thumbnail. So inside my content browser, I can go to maybe UI icons and then just drag and drop this guy here. Oop. Because it's a UI, so I will just change this to user interface and instead of world, I will use UI, save. Now for here, I can just drop that thumbnail in. So we change all of these, okay, save, let's go to main menu and play. So now what we will see is that we have new character all the stats that I added and if we start the game with the new character and then we go to the lobby menu we will see the thumbnail that we just added from here it's like literally everything as you expected it from the lobby system it will work so if I go to a different level uh, why not then go loading here we go 
different level same character and he's running around and jumping all right that was a very quick tutorial on how to add a new character so hopefully uh, this will help some of you who asked me actually about how to add a new character for their project okay okay thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next tutorial bye bye